Good day, family. And all praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Instead of reading scripture or a prayer, I am going to show you the video that I'm working on. Um, they're not saying anything about it here in mainstream media. And it is something that people really need to see. Um, there's the La Palma Islands. Here, I'll just, like I said, I'm working on this video, so I haven't done all the research. So I'll just give you what I have right now. Deformation of 1.5 centimeters detected. Yellow alert. La Palma strong, strong seismic swarm suggest ma magma intruding Cubre Vieja volcano. Eruption could lead to a mega tsunami that would reach the U.S. East Coast within hours. A strong earthquake swarm started under the area of La Cubre Vieja volcano in the southern part of La Palma Island this weekend. It is still undergoing right now. Since the beginning of the seismic swarm, which started on September 11th, I'm not one to do dates and numbers and all that other stuff, but I know that there's no such thing as coincidence. So this all started on September 11th. More than 2,935 quakes have been detected in the southern area of the island of La Palma, including 25 quakes of magnitude above 3.0. The largest earthquake, a 3.9, occurred on sep today, September 14th, and that was two days ago and has been reported and felt by the nearby population. Now I'm going to show you this video. There's no sound to it, but it shows you what would happen to the East Coast and other areas when this thing pops off. So like I said, it's there's no sound to it. And like I said, mainstream media is saying nothing about this. Here's the important part. And now the different colors are, co are uh, it's color coded for how tall the waves are. read so it's not boring these maps show maximum expected okay miss that part real wave heights in deep water are much smaller the run-up scale is 10 to 20 meters 20 to 30 30 to 40 up to 100 meters now let's go over here 40 meters is 131 feet 100 meters is 328 feet so it's saying it's going to kick out 100 uh, meter waves, which are 328 feet. And then just more of the scale up to 400 meters. So the Canary Islands, 100 to 400 meter waves. The African coast, 60 to 100 meters. Iberia, 40 to 60 meters.
France and the United Kingdom, 10 to 20 meters. North America, 30 meters. More to the north, less to the south. Bahamas, 30 to 40 meters. Bermuda and uh, Puerto Rico, mid 40s. Lesser Antilles, low 50s. And again here, let me pause this real quick. Fifty meters, that's a hundred and sixty four feet. North Coast, forty meters. And it would hit the U.S. from seven to nine hours. A de decrease in wave height as it spread from the source. So the waves get lower. Non-uniform radiation, strongest waves leave toward the southwest in the landslide direction. A La Palma tsunami has consequences similar to Japan's 200, or 2011 wave but it would affect a hundred times more coastlines. One of the, on the bright side, there is no evidence that this will happen, oh, whatever. Okay, they, <laughs> it's funny they said that. I'm gonna show you an article that I just found. And with the odds of a collapse at just a few percent each century. Don't rush to sell your seaside condominium. I'm going to beg to differ on that one because of this article right here. Volcan volcano eruption, La Palma's local government just announced evacuations. The Canary Islands government has activated the special plan for civil protection and attention to volcanic risk emergencies in the Cumbre Vieja area, La Palma, due to the increase in seismic activity registered in recent days. So this video says don't uh, rush to sell your seaside condominium. They're evacuating the island. There's, they've started to evacuate the island. Now, this is more research. Um, one thing about this wave is when it hits, it is going to hit at 500 miles an hour. That's one thing that wasn't in the video. So you're going to have a 100-foot wave, 100 to 200-foot wave hitting the east coast at approximately 500 miles an hour. That's quick enough to blow you apart. There's no, you don't survive that. So that's what's going on right now. The mainstream media is not saying anything about it. I, I am digging and digging and digging for articles. And um, I'll put the video, or I'll make the video and I'll put it on my regular channel. And it'll uh, be more detailed and have more information. But this is just a heads up, and um, I'm not saying that it's going to pop soon. Um, one article or, or one podcast that I listen to, there is a Spanish guy who is saying that he thinks that it's going to pop within 13 days. Um, I don't know. I don't know the the uh, date of that podcast but our next new moon is what on the 20th I think but regardless that's at the end of the month so like I said I'm not saying this is going to happen but if mainstream media is not putting this out and this has the potential to wreck the world 
and I know the Almighty said he would not flood the world again, um, this wouldn't flood the world. This isn't going to be uh, an extinction level event, but it's going to do damage if it does pop. So on that note, family, um, have a beautiful day. Get the word out, I guess. And all praise to only the almighty creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Have a beautiful day, family.